So the other thing that I do that's gonna trigger a bunch of people here in chat is I utilize the worst typeface on the planet. Hi, everybody. Hello. Um, we're going to turn on some uh, good streaming vibes in a minute, but we wanted to hop in, kind of intro Peter, tell you a little bit about him, and then a little bit about this new format of the show. So let's start with an intro. Who are you, mystery man, uh, behind me? <laughs> My name is Peter Del Tondo. Uh, I work over at Unfold. I check us out, unfold.co, and uh, I build products. So I've kind of actually shifted a little bit out of design the last couple of years. I uh, kind of help oversee the department and do more of the business stuff. But uh, I love getting to get my hands dirty and uh, excited to build some fun stuff out that applies to a lot of our interests today and kind of see where imagination might take us. So um, this is a little bit of a different show. If you've tuned into Adobe Live here before, it's something that is called -da -da, Imagine Branding. Welcome. A nice little like mid-century flair on this. So Imagine Branding is just that. It's where we create products and brands with our imaginations. Um, we always have a crazy brief that kind of takes us somewhere um, that we can only imagine and we get to work on that and create a product that's just crazy. We're back. All right, we're here, and we're back online, ready for. We're uh, back. I'm, I'm trying to come back in. It, it's getting hot. I, one second. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Yes, landing, Peter. Um, Peter to landing. Uh, go ahead and uh, land. Land right away, Peter. Um, and we can get started on our brief. In the not so distant future, humans have colonized Mars. Common foods and conveniences like pizza delivery have a new set of challenges. With uncertain gravity and atmosphere changes, we need to create an app to help reassure the people of Mars that their pizza will arrive just as they remember it on Earth. All right, so that is our challenge for today. <laughs> Man, we went all out on this one. Uh, this is our very first episode of Imagine Branding. So if you love it, tell your friends. Um, Peter, I'm going to hop over to your screen and let's get started. Let's look at what we're doing and kind of jump in. We'll be working in Adobe XD today, right? That is correct. Yeah. So I'm just going to come in, bring this over here. And I want to show something that I do in, in all of my, my mock-ups because I feel like this is really important and people often forget about it is I want to come in and, and create and kind of simulate these bars. If you go into XD and you go to get UI kits uh, and then more UI kits, there's the, the iOS or if you're designing for Android or anything, go check these out because it's going to be really cool and it's going to give you the items that I think a lot of designers often forget about. So a lot of times you'll see people design things to the very top of the screen. And if we look, uh, let me just pull up, I like the notch and stuff up top. Um, the bar at the bottom, those are things that we need to be thinking about because we don't want our content butted all the way to the top. Yep. We need to leave space and room for that home indicator for somebody to tap there or yep. swipe up and, and interact. And so a lot of times people don't include those things. And then your design like looks really funny when it gets tossed into a mock-up at some point and it looks broken. When you're like starting on a screen, are you thinking of the entire thing at the same time or are you just like this piece and that piece and this piece and that piece or are you like I mean, okay a little bit structurally yeah you, you definitely want to set some stuff up and you know i'm a big proponent of an eight pixel grid system so i i want to kind of establish a little bit of like vertical rhythm and and spacing and whatnot as i go so i, I start to kind of establish a bit of that i'm going to start adding in my colors so i'm going to come in here i'm just going to snatch this I can then go in uh, over here and let's do like a color style. So I'm going to add that, you know, we'll call this like Mars red. Feels right. So we've got that as a, as a style. And then, like we said, you know, we want to start incorporating some things and, and what might that be? How do we want to structure this page? So typically I would wireframe, wireframe things out usually on like whiteboard or just pen and paper. Uh, I actually really like doing it away from the screen because otherwise you, you start just designing it and I don't like doing that. So the other thing that I do that's going to trigger a bunch of people here in chat is I utilize the worst typeface on the planet yes. to wireframe stuff out. So I learned this from you. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to come in here and let's make this. Uh, we can use our our Mars red for now. And then I'm going to switch to Comic Sans because now my brain just cannot process what this is. Uh, and I don't take it seriously from a design standpoint. And so it allows me to just really focus on 
the layout and structure of what I want to do in Levi Jones yep. in the chat. That is awesome, I love it. yes. Um, I so make yeah, a, I just want to come in here now. I do the same thing, and I think you taught me this, is I make, uh, because I don't work as much with like type revisions, I make all of my notes in hot pink. Like, and yeah. I'll put just a giant block of hot pink over something, um, if it's an image or something. And that's just a reminder for me that I'm like, I would never use this color in a design. And so yep. it doesn't make sense here. And I need to remember that like something needs to change in this zone. Exactly. So wow. it just, it Chat gives me something triggered. that <laughs> I knew it every time, every time I do this. Uh, so it just, it allows me to come in here and I, I step away from the design for a second. So we'll change this out pretty quickly here. But like we said, we might want a special adder offer. Um, and then we can look at things. And this is also where I like to design really quickly to test out a lot of ideas and then see what works. So I know I want this section up here, but now there's a couple of things that we could do. Uh, so when we look at this from how we, we would next want to display information, we might want to have something here that is maybe something like this, where maybe it's special ads and offer, offer number one, and then maybe next is you know popular items or something like that. And then the question becomes, how do we want to lay out that information? Is it something like this, where we just keep doing things in, in this kind of fashion? Would we want to come in and take a look at this and go, all right, what if we double stack? What if I do like item one, item two? And I know, I know this stuff's not lined up right and it only it, drives me partially mad, but. It's cool how easy it is though to just grab artboards and make an entirely new artboard. And it's like, cool, these are all just my sketches. Like I'm like, these are the concepts that are in my head that like, we'll get it out here. And from this point, right, if we do a few more, and then you look at it, you can easily pick your favorite out of those. Even if it's mm -hmm. not the right one, you can probably pick the best one. Yeah. Doing any kind of dimensional thing really takes it out of the digital world and feels a little bit more physical. I'm gonna spin this a little bit. Uh, and then we can just do a little little rule across the edge here. So, you know, maybe we use our 333 and then I'm gonna bring that down just to kind of cheat it in opacity and we'll make that kind of light. Maybe about 16, give that a height of one. And then I'm gonna send this to the back and then we're gonna do another one here. Oh, so you're kind of cheating to almost create a dimension here, right? Right, so we could do something like this and then there could be like a small little uh, description in here about the pizza. Uh, Let's see, you know, take and bake on any planet. Love that. And then we'll drop that down here a little bit as well, just to give a little bit of hierarchy in the text. We can do something like that for now. That's interesting, the thought of using uh, color as type hierarchy. I always think about fonts and weights, but I don't really think about color. Uh, and it's smart to use like a different gray. Yeah, I mean, just a little something to to separate it out a bit. And then we'll pull this, oops, I'm just gonna pull that up a little bit more. And that's a great way to add visual interest to a design. If you're working, especially on a white screen like this, trying to cheat dimension makes it look like a material instead of a screen, right? That it looks like we've cut into paper, cloth, and we've tucked something in there. And so doing any kind of dimensional thing, whether it's a shadow, whether it's a cut line like this, really gives it, uh, takes it out of the digital world and feels a little bit more physical, um, which I feel like makes it more like I want to touch and interact with it. So let's say that we wanted to do almost like a hover state on that order menu to where those pizzas would like pop up and have some kind of animation to that. That's super easy to do with XD, right? It is. So um, like, for example, we could just literally do a screen and Maybe we come up here and I'm just going to knock this up and it could just be as simple as that. Like I just knocked it up 10 pixels or something. Um, and then maybe in addition, like we've got the, the rule down here. Maybe I want to make that Mars red and that comes in the full color. Uh, and so, you know, we could, we could totally do something like that. And like, I know we, we made it a little bit, uh, like we brought it up, but then I might also just scale this a little bit 
Ooh. So it's just going to kind of grow, come up, and then it'll scale back down. Attack of the pizza. So we've got our pizza planet. Hi, I've been chosen to help you. He zooms back. And this feels like you're inside of the chat. Like this yep. is this is really cool. The app is happening. We're having a conversation with Steve. Sweet little Steve. <laughs> and there we go. There it was. So that's what I was curious about is how it was going to handle the title and the character. And it just perfectly scrolled up for us. Yeah, because it's going to recognize that that thing has has moved away. And so, you know, a trick that you might want to do, I think I probably just deleted it. Um, but something else that you could do as, as an alternative, depending if it's something that might come back, especially like maybe as it scrolls or something, is that maybe the way we want to do that last screen would be something more like this. And, and maybe we want to keep like you're chatting with Steve, like that that is always a part of it or whatnot. But maybe this guy, we want it to move up. We could shrink it a little bit. And then I would drop the opacity to zero. Oh. And then I could do the same thing here. So let me just see. Keep it underneath. And let's do opacity to zero. And then I can just take this text over here and throw it down. And so now, there we go. And then up and kind of fade out. Yep. That's so So that's cool. another way to do it versus it just kind of like disappearing and it'll still auto animate it to an extent. This was Imagine Branding episode number one. Uh, hopefully we'll make a comeback. It's all about using our imaginations, breaking the mold a little bit. Who cares about clients? Let's go to Mars and build a pizza <laughs> app, right? Uh, so thanks for tuning in. We will see you all on the next stream. Hang out for the rest of the day here on Adobe Live.